Breadboards come in many different sizes and shapes, but they're all constructed basically the same. We're going to have a look at a basic 400 point breadboard and then learn how to use it to prototype circuits. This is a typical 400 point breadboard. It consists of three sections. On the outside edges here, you have the rails and then the centre section. And the centre section is divided into two parts, either side of the central channel called the gutter. On the side of the breadboards, there are these little lugs which allow the two breadboards to be clipped together allowing to make one big breadboard. On the reverse of the breadboard there's a self adhesive strip which allows you to secure the board to a firm work surface for when you're working on the prototype. On this particular board we've removed the back adhesive pad so you can see what goes on inside. You can see the power rails consist of vertical metal strips and the centre section consists of horizontal metal strips. I've zoomed in to try and show you what these little lines that run horizontal look like. I don't know if you can see that but effectively what you've got is a whole series of spring clips and when you push your component through the holes that's what they connect to. Let's have a look at making a circuit. We'll draw a quick, very simple circuit. We'll need a battery, which is the typical symbol. We're going to need an LED, which is drawn like that, and a resistor. Then we need to connect them together. simple and this should be a little circuit to make an LED lighter. Let's build it. So we need our battery. We want the plus and the minus to be in two separate tracks. So at this joint here we need to connect the plus and one leg of the LED. We know it needs to be on the same row, so we'll push the LED into that row. And as you can see, the other leg is in a different row. Now we're at this point. So this side of the LED is connecting to one side of our resistor. And the other side of the resistor connects to the minus of the battery. Here, presto, we've got a lit LED. Let's change our circuit and use the power rails. So we'll have the minus of the battery into the minus of the power rail, the plus from the battery into the positive power rail. Then our resistor is going to come from the minus into any one row of these rows, and the LED is going to come from there and bridge over. Now to make the circuit we need to connect from the positive rail into the track which has the LED on it. And there we go. Here's a very simple circuit I found which is going to allow us to make a buzzer sound using a 555 timer. On the breadboard, the centre channel becomes in very useful if you have an integrated circuit such as this 555 timer, as you can put the 555 timer over the top of the gutter and each one of these rows is now connected to a separate leg. Now it's simply a case of building up the circuit according to the drawing we had. And the first thing we're going to do is put a buzzer, which is going to be our output. And this is a bit fiddly because the output from these the wires 
is flexible. So after a bit of fiddling, I've managed to push the flexible wires into the breadboard and we've got our buzzer connected. So then it's just a case of hooking up the 555 according to the drawing. So pin number one will go to the minus. Pins number eight connects to number four. And pin number four connects to the positive rail. Now we need a resistor bridge between 8 and 7 and 7 and 6. You see how I've folded the resistors over on themselves and trimmed the wires to suit. The other component we need is a capacitor and that's going to go from minus put into a separate track which just makes it a little easier for us to put our connector into pin number 2. So we can go from pin number 2 to the other side of the capacitor. Okay. Very little left, we just need to connect pin number 7 also to pin number 2 and then a couple of jumper wires from pin number 3 which is our output to our buzzer and finally the other side of the buzzer to the minus. Then what we need to do is take the battery and see if it works. So the red is positive and the black is negative. quickly get annoying. Using a similar technique to what we've just seen, I've built up a circuit using a 741 op amp, which is another integrated circuit, a variable resistor and a light dependent resistor. What this circuit will do is if the light gets brighter, it will sound a buzzer. The only thing we haven't got in this circuit is a buzzer. So let's bring in the circuit we've made before. And instead of powering it with a battery, we'll power it with the output from the previous circuit. There's no sound at the moment, so we'll cover our light dependent resistor so it thinks it's dark and adjust the sensitivity until it just sounds and then stops. Then when we increase the light level by removing our finger, What we've prototyped there is an alarm for when somebody opens your fridge. As you can see, the breadboard is very simple to use and very simple to make a reasonably complicated circuit.